What's going on, guys? Welcome back to All the Mods 9. Today, I plan on trying to do the extreme reactors. I've never done this before, so this is going to be a learning curve to me. So, you're going to have to bear with me a little bit here because I'm going to have to learn how to do all this. This will not be done this episode. This is going to take a little bit because, I, like I said, I have no idea how extreme reactors work. Uh, but the first thing I've done is I went to go grab a whole bunch of uranium, and then I grabbed some uh, graphite as well. Uh, I guess we're going to need a lot of these for uh, the, uh, what, what is this called, uh, reactor casing, which is like the main thing that makes up our big reactors. So we gotta, I'm going to craft a whole bunch of these. Uh, do we need, we, need reg we need regular sand. I don't think I have regular sand. I have, no. I usually use auto smell on my uh, my uh, to get glass, so I don't have a whole lot of sand. But let's grab some of this right here, and we should be fine. There we go. That should be hopefully that should be plenty. If not, then I just go. You obviously can just get some more. But throw some of this in here, and then some sand. Also, should probably make a one thing a reactor glass as well. So I'm not sure how big I should really make this or what I should, how I should make this. I mean, this is going to be a learning curve. So is it like a uh, a Tinker's construct where I can kind of make it as big as I want, or um, and do I need to fill in the middle? That's the part that I'm gonna have to learn. I'm not quite sure. That looks that looks wrong. <laughs> I also I've been using a little bit of the wireless crafting terminal. I put a few extra wireless um boosters on top but i can't i can't max it out because i don't have enough energy so hopefully i don't i don't know should I, do i need to fill in the middle uh, i'm gonna need a lot of these though that's for sure um let's go ahead and make one thing a class as well <laughs> Just so I can see inside of it. That 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 doesn't look right, but you know we're gonna we're gonna go with it. We're just gonna <laughs> go with the flow. Okay, what's the next step? Reactor control rods, reactor controller, interfacing with the reactor. Okay. Uh, the reactor is the heart of the room. Okay. That makes a little bit of sense. I don't, I mean, to be fair, I, I, like I said, I'm not quite sure what I should be making, what I shouldn't be making. Um, yeah, this is, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not looking at a video. I, I might, but I want to at least get it. I want to see how far I can get without looking up a tutorial on how to make this. So just bear with me a little bit. Okay. So I need, I need quartz and a redstone torch. Oops. Oh, I was gonna say, I was like, I swear I got some quartz. And then craft for that. Nice. Okay, so they're just good, like, let's, let's like put it like too fast. This is ridiculous. Okay, put that like that. Uh, not enough. Control rods, reactor requires at least one more. I'm mean, we talking about like this right here. Uh, 
reactor core. Here we go. So we just gotta craft one of these. Then I'm assuming. Uh, let's see. We need a piston. Okay, there's one. Do I just put it like right here? Like that? Isn't that what I did? It's on the side, right? Oh, this is gonna be a struggle. I always like learning new mods, but I was always afraid of learning this mod for some reason because it seems like it's a lot. Uh, control rods may only be placed on one side of the reactor. What does that even mean? Like one side of what? Like this? Like, oops. I'm gonna sorry. I'm gonna turn this off for one second, so I stop picking that up. Like that. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. What if I place it on top? No. The control rods are placed on top. You can also have more than one per reactor, but you must have at least one. Typically, the more you have, the more fuel the reactor used to burn. That means the overall power, but the cost is of higher. For every control rod, you need enough fuel rods to extend the ba uh, base of the reactor. For example, if your reactor is five blocks tall, you'll need three fuel rods extending from each of the. Okay. Um, okay, so I do need it. I do need it on top. So I need. I need to grab me one of the fuel rods though. Now, where does this go? That's the question. Where does this go? What is this? So, do I put it, like, right next to the... What the hell? Sound like I broke it. So, if I put it, like, right here, right? So, does that mean I need to make this at least one taller, maybe? Could that be it? Like that, maybe? Is that, is that what? The control rod. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> I was way off. That's four. Whoops. Is this is is this what like they mean by three by three? Like this is what they mean? Okay. <clears throat> So I'm starting to understand this a little bit better now. So I watched a few videos uh, on the basic uh, reactors. So I know I could build a 5x5 five five with the basic casing, which honestly, which I would probably just keep that myself. I don't think I'm going to use much power. Um, but basically what I needed to do is put the fuel rod and the other fuel, whatchamacallit, in the middle on top of each other. And then also needed some access ports uh, to transfer. I, I'm not, I haven't, I need to change this. But uh, basically this is where the uranium goes. And then on this side is where the uh, waste is at some point. Um, and then back here I have another, I have an active forge energy power. Which is going. Which is obviously fuel, fueling my basic energy cube. Um there's a lot of different ways that I can, obviously, that I can, like, uh, bring a whole bunch of uni universal cables on the ground uh, and then bring them up towards um, my uh, ME system and all the stuff that's being powered by it. Um, but, uh, so, what I think I'm going to do is actually just get rid of all of this and start with a 5x5 five five, uh, just so I have enough power. Uh, because it's, I mean, since I know kind of what I'm doing now with the basics, I can actually, I would rather just do a five by five personally. So, um, I'm going ahead and turn this off and, uh, I think that's an auto, right? I'm not quite sure. I'm, I'm not, I'm not a master at this, but I think, I think I'm, I'm learning it. So, uh, once I kind of get the five by five kind of going, I'll come back with you guys in one second. Okay, so I finally got it all figured out with the five by five reactor. Uh, I forgot to put down some of the casings on the f on the, the base of it, so that was my fault. So uh, yeah, this is kind of my setup. I got the limited oak drawer with the uh, cyanite, which is the waste. Uh, I got the chest over here with the uh, uranium that automatically puts into the access ports. Back here, I have um, a universal ultimate cable that's connected to an elite energy cube. And then my whole, my whole plan is just to um, gr uh, craft a whole bunch of these universal cables and just cable this all underneath my base and then cable it to some of these um, um, power supply guys. Like, um, so I won't really need the the generator uh, the wind generators anymore uh, I can get rid of that uh, I will still probably use the coal generator here and there uh, whenever I get the chance and then um, I mean actually thinking about it now I might actually start making a bigger generator later on um, I'm not sure void upgrade I don't care for that uh, loop fabricator okay um, so then we're going to need a bigger um, reactor, which is, I don't, I'm not sure what a turbine is just yet, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to get there. Um, I think, I'm not sure what this is. I'm assuming it, it this turns the uh, cyanide into uranium, I'm, uh, I'm guessing. I'm not sure what this is either, but, uh, oh, this is the reinforced, so I can make a way bigger reactor this way. And also, I guess with the um, newest update not too long ago with extra reactors, these no longer blow up. So that's kind of nice. I'm not even going to lie. I could just make two separate extra reactors if I wanted to, uh, but I don't know if I'm going to go that route just yet. Uh, I need to connect all my uh, power supply, like uh, all of these that require power, 
connect them with the universal cable and see how, see how much more power I need to make to keep them all running. And at the same time, I came down here and I also crafted a uranium seed. Uh, so I can just sit here AFK if I wanted to and just let it like build up. Um, I also have, I was, last episode we crafted the Nether Star Essence. And that's been going pretty good. So now we have basically unlimited Nether Stars. Uh, un unlimited Certus Quartz, Emeralds, uh, Diamonds, Netherite, all that. So we're looking pretty good. Uh, I will. I would like to expand this out just a little bit more. Keep the food on this side, and just build a, a little bit more of the uh, growth accelerators, and then we should be good to go with the um, magical crops. So I think that's it for today's episode. Thank you so so much, guys, for clicking on the video and watching me struggle with the extreme reactors. I know it's it's, it's pretty simple now, uh, but for, as someone who's never made a ex, uh, extreme reactor before, it's kind of complex, but. Uh, I'm learning. I'm getting there. I'm getting better. So I thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.